All right, we're gonna put this car in service mode. Um, the key's in position one, door's closed. So this mileage is up. Uh, we're gonna hit this and this simultaneously. Put a finger on here. One button down, then hit the OK button. down, pad replacement. So you have to make sure the emergency brake is up. So mine was down, that's why you said it wasn't ready. So pull this up and then you hit okay for pad replacement. This is when it's ready, you hit it okay. And then you can hear a little ring, and then it gets on here. All right, now we'll go replace the pads. Rear pads, what we got? Okay, so now we put the car, the rear brake in service mode. Um, we got the car jacked up, jack stands. Uh, this is the electronic uh, part of it. So this has already been pulled back on some cars. I would have to take this apart and push it back manually and this is already done. And I use a 13. I like the ratcheting. First, I did locking needle nose I have. Um, I think this is 17, but my 17 is they're too thick to go through this. Um, these are very thin, it's require a thin wrench. These new ones, because they lock, and then you just push this, and then they release. Better than the old school. So push these, push this to each side, unless we get loose, lose yourself some space. Okay. Yeah, they're just a release from the bottom, so you kind of push that little teeth in the hole and release it. So a little bit of release here. Even on the back when you kind of see that that needs to be pushed in. Okay, so now our hose is released, our wires are loose. Now we I've got a caliper off and a lot of people see this and they think they need to twist this or spin this but you don't once the electronic parts of it has already backed out this is just pushed back straight I always notice the placement of the sensor so you got to make sure if the sensor is on the back or the front and this how the sensor you just cut 
so your pads go down enough where it catches that wire and splits it and cuts it. Now, when you had a full, um, you know, electricity going through this line out or the other, and I just cut off, and that triggers your brake wear uh, signal. Uh, you have rotors at this point, you would take these caliper mount bolts off, this torque off, pull the rotor off, and then replace it. We're not, we're just doing pads. So, I'm just gonna push the piston back, throw pads on, and call it a day. Seated. Just get it out of the way. And this is the time to kind of check your other stuff, make sure everything else is fine. Let me get some pads. Be right back. Okay, so these are the pads we're using. We're using Hudson Ceramic. Um, their part number. Where's that sensor? Um, grease. They want you to grease kind of the back of where the pad touches. And you always want to check them with your bowl pads. Make sure they're the right ones. People make mistakes all the time, so let's double check them. Okay, so there's the outside. And to put them on, you kind of go sideways. And you want to push both of these springs back. Things you're gonna take the lip of your pad, push it through the back of the or push the springs back and it slides right down. Put in a crack. Plugs in just like that. And you feed this through a little hole. And then this electronic thing is you're gonna put this side in first and then slide up. So that through that hole that goes under. Sometimes this kit comes with screws, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure these take the Loctite. So I'm gonna get some Loctite and put some Loctite on these. And I'm put them back on. Same thing. Come over here and use our locking. You know, little tires to stop the back part from moving.
This goes in kind of sideways. So properly we're gonna put the hoses back. space that has left when it was pushed completely back uh, and then we'll show you the procedure on how to um, take off the brake service uh, scenario all right all right so now we've uh, finished replacing the pads I'm gonna connect my negative on my battery To retract that we're gonna hit okay you hear the noise plus taking the brakes out of service mode and confirm okay and then we're gonna get out of this 